This is the main state highway in Hawke's Bay. As Cyclone Gabriel pushed across New Zealand's North Island, it cut off roads and cities. It brought torrential rain and some wind gusts reaching 140 kilometres an hour, leaving residents shaken. Thunder and lightning and everything last night was just horrific. So, But the, the devastation is just, oh, it just makes you, makes you want to cry, to be honest. A storm began lashing the northern coast on Sunday, and the damage in its wake led the government to declare a state of emergency for the third time in its history. The uh, situation that New Zealanders have been waking up to this morning, a lot of families displaced, uh, a lot of homes without power, uh, extensive damage done across the country. We'll be throwing everything at this to make sure we're providing as much support to the response as possible. Rescue efforts are underway and the Defence Force has been rallied. Residents have been advised to stay away from rising coastal waters. Many regions in the north were still recovering from record rainfall two weeks ago. On the east coast of the North Island, entire towns and settlements have been cut off due to either rising flood waters or the roads going in and out of these places have been cut off by slips or fallen trees. In some places, the entire road has gone. Hundreds of roads are impassable. Land is continuing to slip under the weight of torrential rain. And tens of thousands of people have no power. Rescue workers say it's too early to assess the extent of the damage, but the continuing storm is likely to hamper rescue efforts. Oh, so did you bring the Laura Khan, Al Jazeera.